Hey, Mrs. Murphy. Congrats on your house. It looked fantastic. My mom and I, we were in your area last night and we had a look at your house. You had like 50 pumpkins, eh? Mm -hmm, sure. How did you get the uh, skeleton off the flagpole? Lukey. <laughs> I dressed up as um, Janis Joplin. I went to this house party on Saturday night. It was amazing. There was the most people. It was probably about a hundred people in this house. Went into the backyard and it was a sea of people. It was awesome. <clears throat> Are you stuck on a word? No. Is everything okay? Oh, everything's fine with me. I just don't like to fraternize with strippers. What? What? Don't give me that, Dana. You should be embarrassed, humiliated. I saw it on television. Oh, no. You exposed your breasts on television. It was a church for gosh sakes, Dana. I mean, how many people saw it? I can't believe you did that to sell some silly little records. Oh, so funny. Oh, man. When, when Stan started to laugh and that piece of chop chai came out of his nose, the, the whole noodle was just sort of hanging out of that one nostril. It was great. But he left it there for so long. <laughs> I've not seen my oh. parents that happy in a long, long time. Oh. Thanks for coming out with me. Oh, they, well, I really miss them, you know? Yeah? Yeah, I well, did. They missed you too. They did? Yeah, yeah. Well, you were always their favorite, so. Oh, I was their favorite. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think it had something to do with making me happy. Something like that, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, while we're on that subject, I, I hope you're happy. I am. Very happy. Hmm. It's nice to reconnect, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah, hey, it is. I was thinking, in terms of reconnecting, that mm -hmm. we should look up some of our old friends. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, you know. Oh, you know what? We should give a call to uh, Inserp and Trudy. Yeah? They just got a new condo. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good, that's good, good. And uh, how about um, Sarah? Sarah and, uh, she's still going oh, about friend. that? Yeah, that red-headed guy, what was his name, Rob? Yeah, yeah, Sarah and Rob. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Um, bomb making 101? No. No. What it's is a, it? It's a radio. It's a oh, radio. Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah, of okay. course it's a radio. <laughs> well, hello. I'm making a radio. Home why, radio. Why, why would you be doing that? You know, you can go to a store and buy one. I know, but this is more fun, right? Mm -hmm. Homemade radio kit. See, my um, Andy had his uh, his little kid brother over for uh, Halloween. We we're looking after him for a few days while his parents are away. You know, he's eight. Really cute kid, Mikey. And um, we got to talking, and I told him I started bragging. He was asking me how radio, how my cell phone worked. Talked about radios. Told him I could build one, which I did. Oh. I built one with my dad when I was a kid. So now he wants me to build him one. So you know, I can show him. So now I'm trying to uh, from memory. No, I went on the internet and I <laughs> refreshed my memory. But you know. It's not complicated. You know, we, we do do stupid things for children. It's not stupid, it's fun. Well, you know, is uh, Halloween fun? I don't know, I had probably 400 little rodents show up to my house last night and demand gifts. You know, if you're over if you're over 10, and you know what's even worse, is kids who show up and they don't even have costumes. Yeah, like the 15 year old sort yeah. of punk kids who yeah, come like to and say, give me candy. What? A kid was on a cell phone. Really? On a cell phone, trick, yeah, trick or treat, you know? Oh, that's terrible. Well, it's for the little kids, you know? Little kids, it's, it's cute to see them dressed up. And I, I have a feeling that's not going to pan out. I'm telling you, this is going to work. I mean, four wires and a phone. How hard can it be, right? Yeah. Okay, come on. You can't honestly believe that I did that on purpose. It was an accident. Oh, accident, schmaccident. All right, if, if they would have let me wear what I, I wanted to, I came to the studio, all right, with a, with a nice t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Oh. But the pastor's wife started freaking out and saying, you can't wear that on 
Christian TV. It's, and she pulls out this hideous dress, okay? It's from the 70s. It's satiny, it's frilly, and it smelled like mothballs. It was a nice dress. It was nice to see you in a dress again. Good Lord. Dana Davin, it is a poor craftsman who blames her tools. Okay, if I would have gotten to wear what I wanted to, there would be no way they would. But it was live TV. What was I supposed to do, okay? And it was way, way too big. And I guess because the, it was so satiny, the buttons slipped open. And of course, I don't wear a bra. Well, I and we to. all saw that. You don't have to tell. Everybody who was watching saw that. Good Lord. I, I tried to pry the remote out of Lukey's hands. Lukey saw it? I've never seen him so interested in a religious show. And Caitlin saw it, too. Your, your nipple. She books all my clients back to back, okay? So I have a full body wax in one room and in the other room, I got this dude with calluses like concrete. So that's gonna take me all day. So I'm running back and forth I and mean, I'm gonna fire her tomorrow. But at least, you know, I was really distracted all day and I didn't really have time to dwell on, you know, anything else. Maybe. I think it's gonna be better if you just work with the feeling, you know? Let it go through you instead of trying to suppress it, which is what we both know you're doing, okay? Okay, you're right. Um, will you come with me to the nursing home? I gotta go and get my mom's stuff and just kind of clean up. Yeah, I'll come with you. Yeah? No problem. Uh, and after, there's mm -hmm. a Dairy Queen right around the corner. Can we stop there? Oh, I've been fiending for like a Sunday, just giant, just with everything on it, like all the syrups and peanuts. Everything. I don't know. Is that my normal? Is that wrong of to feel that way? Normal. I just I've been thinking it's... about it. Baby, you're perfectly normal. Okay? It'll be good to get your mind off of this, right? Whatever you need. Um, James. Mm hmm I took the Huntington's test today. Rob was cheating on Sarah? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. She dropped him like a hot potato. I mean, I mean, she went over to surprise him by mm -hmm. going into his place to clean up, and then she found this used condom. Oh. And she hadn't been there for a few weeks. Oh. This is pretty fresh, so. And not only that, but, um, yeah, she checked his uh, voicemail. Oh. Tons of messages from this other woman. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, I guess we won't be hanging out with them. Well, I mean, not with her and Rob, but she is going out with a new guy. Oh, really? Yeah, she you met know? this guy online. His name is Stig. Stig? He's uh, referred to as the Norse god. With a name like Stig, I would hope so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, without sounding, you know, I don't want to put her down, but she's uh, traveled the world quite a bit in terms of her dating. Right? She dated South American guy, guys from Ooh, Europe, yeah. guys you know from Africa, a uh, guy from Scandinavia. In fact, the only place she hasn't dated somebody is Korea. Well, I, I don't know what the big deal is. I mean, you know, so she's dated a lot, a lot of different people. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's and that's cool. Is don't that get a me big wrong. Deal for you? No, 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 not at oh, all. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking about what if she wants to have a family and some kids and stuff like what people do it all the time. You know, it's not such a big deal. Yeah, it's not such a big deal. Osama is scared. He's scared. He doesn't want Bush to be reelected because he knows if Bush is reelected, he's coming after him. So oh, he's, yeah. trying, he's, he's trying to sway, after him. He's trying really to sway scared public of opinion. Bush, buddy. Bush hasn't even found the guy yet. Bush has had years to look for him. He's had his, almost his whole entire mandate it's to find just, Osama. It's just a matter of time. And he's sitting in a television studio in the United Arab Emirates or something like that? That wasn't like that. a television studio. That was a big sheet. You could see it blowing. That's what they were talking about today. I saw that on the news. They had this photo expert, and yeah, she said it was just, they want could us be in to, a cave somewhere. They want us to believe that he's hiding in a cave. What they don't want you to know is don't. that most of the Arab world supports the guy because he's useful. They can use him as a tool to keep More America conspiracy. in check. That's a conspiracy thing. I don't, I don't buy into It's reality. Thing. Look. Okay, this is it. This is it. I'm done. It's going to work. Ready? Big moment. Okay. Da, 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 da. Nothing. That's okay. That's okay. This is a bad spot. It's probably just a bad spot. See, yeah, you it's need called... To, you need to find the signal. This isn't like your high-tech business, right? Oh, it's not high-tech. Hmm.
Dana, I know a thing or two about public humiliation myself. There was this time uh, our friends uh, Anne and Ted invited Doug and I to a wedding and, and to sing in the ceremony. So we were totally honored. And we, anyway, so we sang the that Beatles tune. There are places. I oh, know yeah, that's a great yeah, song. Very beautiful. Oh, Anyways, nice. we were singing away, and all of a sudden, just when I got to this bridge that I always had trouble with, this baby starts crying. Well, I panic because I look up and Doug knocks over his his music stand and I'm standing there humming and and then I tried to grab the the music sheets and he ends up whacking me in the eye with the guitar <laughs> and, I, and all of a sudden I look up and everybody's just laughing you know oh, yeah. we felt like such idiots and anyways now I can look back at that and 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 laugh at it and yeah. You'll be able to do the same with this once Well, it's not the incident it. itself that bothers me. I can deal with that. Yes, it was embarrassing, but that's fine. It was the fact that the pastor's wife, I mean, she yelled at me. She was really calling oh. me to horrible things, all right? It's just, she thought I had done it intentionally. I would never degrade myself that way. I would never cheapen my music. <sighs> that wasn't right of her. No, it wasn't. Well, I'm sorry you had such a terrible time, dear. Well, actually... It wasn't all bad. My mom dying, James, it just, it really opened my eyes to what could possibly be in store for me. And I'm tired of living in fear every day, waking up, expecting that the worst is inevitable and it doesn't have to be, but I need to know that, you know? Maybe just I, get it I'm, over with. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I'm so proud of you because I know how much courage it took to go ahead and take that test. When do you get the results? When? Two weeks. I mean, you'd think with, you know, medical technology, whatever, this thing could take 24 hours. Maybe you'll be fine. It's like a year. Maybe you know once I had this, uh, I had this client who had a lump in his neck. <clears throat> and um, he kept on pretending like it didn't bother him, right? Like he wasn't thinking about it, but he know was. how he feels. Yeah. And uh, so he finally got it checked. And when he found out that he didn't have anything, his life just changed. Uh. Yeah, he started living better. He was just like hop, skipping, jumping all over the office. I he don't was know. He was a totally yeah. different guy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm different. And I just, I don't know. I'm Maybe don't second guess yourself. You lot. absolutely made the right choice, OK? Now we can have some peace of mind, right? Yeah. And we can start planning our family. Hmm? <sighs> Look, um, James, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, just let's just do this one step at a time. I mean, I, I haven't got the test results back yet. I'm not gonna get them back for another two weeks. I know, let's baby, just... but don't you understand what this means? We're getting married, <sighs> and we're gonna start a family. You know, I love kids. Yeah, but I know. Come on. The, you love kids. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about you. It's just. Can't you see yourself trick or treating with them? Yeah, I... Opening presents at Christmas time. Huh? Christmas. <laughs> Come on, babe. You'd love to have a little Shannon running around. Or how about a little James? Yeah, Julie? okay. Um, James, huh? just listen. I could get these test results back, and I could have the disease. It's George Bush. It's George Bush. He's gonna win, especially with this Osama thing. It's definitely gonna win, right? I bet can you twenty bucks. Can you make a little effort? I'm trying to find a signal. You're not. You're just sort of holding. I bet you twenty bucks he won't win. Kerry is gonna win by a hair, okay? And Bush is gonna win the popular vote. Kerry will win electoral no, no, college. No, 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 no. Twenty it's bucks. Gonna be twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. Easy. I'll tell you what's gonna. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a landslide, and everybody's gonna be like, "I'm shocked. I'm shocked." And that's how it's gonna. A landslide. A landslide. Thing. Look, none of this 50, 51, 49, All right. Can you stand up, actually? Would you mind standing up? See, I gotta ground this to something. That's what I have to do. It's hard on my thick metal object. Try your head, oh, maybe. Oh, oh, there's like a buzzing. There's like a small buzzing. Yeah, it's we're on a moving train. That might be a train buzzing vibration. Oh yeah, you're right. It might be a buzzing. Maybe we should try somewhere else. Go this way. Try over here. 
Um, you know, I, I really don't think this is a good Try in here. Move in there. Don't be shy. Look, don't excuse be shy. me. It's, I'm trying it's to find a kid's signal. project. He's a, he works with children. And get right in there. Get right in there. Bend down. It's, sorry. It's, it's, Bend down. I, no, really. I, I'm, not, I'm not bending down. Bend down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You see, you're holding the, you're catching the wire. Are you getting Did a you signal? That? I heard. That yeah, just... it's this sound. <laughs> don't bend the antenna. I was just thinking about what you were saying about Sarah mm -hmm. and with her, her boyfriend, St Stig? <laughs> Stig. Stig. The Stig. Norse god. Sorry, the Norse god. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's wonderful that you have such a, an open mind about these kind of things. Oh, no, I, I just think Sarah's lucky that, you know, she doesn't care what the rest of the world thinks, you know? I mean, she does what she wants to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, isn't that the great thing? I mean, she's very liberal and she doesn't care what others think about well, her. Well, I mean... Okay, for instance, it's one thing for her to, like, for instance, for in Serpent Trudy's wedding. Yeah. It'd be one thing for her to go there with Stig, a white guy, but, I mean, can you imagine if they had kids? I mean, they'd be bringing a white baby to that function. And, I mean, if it were me, oh, my God, my parents would be mortified. My grandmother, my 104-year-old grandmother, she would probably just die on the spot. I can't imagine with all heck breaking loose like it did that <laughs> anything positive came out of this whole thing. Well, after the pastor's wife was finished yelling at me, I was sitting alone in my change room and I was packing my gear up and I just was feeling just so frustrated and just so yeah. just, just tired, you know? Sure. And then there's these kids from the choir that came and they wanted to meet me. They wanted to tell me how much they enjoyed my music. Oh. It was so exciting before well, everything fell apart. Well, it was good. You sounded like a little songbird. It was it was beautiful. It was a really nice song. Thanks. It was so exciting. I mean, they wanted to know if I had any CDs for sale, oh. if I had any uh, upcoming gigs that they could come to. And it was amazing as well, because my music, you know, quite often it resonates best with, with women, but sure. there was half of them were teenage boys. Well, <laughs> Dana, I'm... It was exciting. You know, it's, it good. just felt like I finally connected with a new audience. For the first time, I actually feel optimistic and excited that I can do this Christian rock thing. Oh, of course you can. <laughs> you did a good job. Okay, what are they doing? I don't know. Looking for aliens or something. Maybe you gotta think positive. I know. Okay? I mean, if you have it, I'm still gonna be here with you regardless. You know that. Mm hmm I know. But you gotta think positive. Besides, the onset of this disease is so far away that there might even be a cure by then uh, if if we have to cross that bridge. We James, don't know that yet. They've been hopeful for a cure for decades. Okay? And it's gonna be decades before they find anything, if they ever do. And I just you know. It's a real nightmare, okay? Watching your parent deteriorate right before your eyes. I'm not gonna put my child through that, through what I went through watching my mom. I'm not gonna do that. You know, if the test comes back and I have this disease, I'm sorry, but I'm not having any kids. Well, you know, I mean, if you have it and you don't wanna have kids, I understand. But that's mm -hmm. not the only option. There are many ways of having a family. Yeah, yeah, right? you're right, I know. We're young, we have a lot of love to give. We'll find a way. We'll be happy no matter what. Hmm? No matter what. Uh, doctor, I'm sorry, but you're an idiot. This thing doesn't work at you're all. You just, it works. It's just, you're, you're not using it right here. Give it to oh, me. Oh, oh, really, eh? Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah, really. You can do better? Yeah, here, you okay. listen. All divine. Okay. Okay. okay, well, here, uh, while you're at it, genius, what about the ground, huh? Remember me talking about okay. the ground? That's good. On your watch is good. Anything? You hear anything? No. Oh, dude. No. What are you doing? No. Watch out. You just poke somebody's no. eye out. No. No. Hold on. Oh, Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah. You've got something? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, sorry. Oh, relax. Relax. Static. 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 I can't. Oh, hey, that's good. Okay. Hot zone. Hot zone. Hot. Hot zone. Down. Down. Lower. 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 Is it better? 
Is that better? Yes, it's getting louder. Should I keep moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn, turn, go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I can hear. Uh, 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 you got uh, something? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah! Does it work? Yes! Hey, it works! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> you did it! All right! <laughs> can I hear? I just don't think you're giving your parents enough credit. I, I, they're a lot more liberal than you think. You know, uh, they're they're open-minded. Yeah, they're, you know what? They're very liberal-minded about everybody else, but when it comes to one of their own, they're not so liberal. I mean, here, let me give you an example. My cousin Vince, he was really involved with this Vietnamese girl, and when my, his sister, Veronica, was getting married, <clears throat> I remember when he showed up at the wedding, my parents were the ones who went over to my aunt and uncle and said, don't let them sit at the family table because they thought it would be humiliating and, and embarrassing. Your, your parents, because she's Vietnamese? That's right. That's right. So, yeah. That's, that's, I, I'm shocked. I mean, I never thought your parents would Well, be like I'm that. surprised you're shocked. I mean, your, your parents are that way. <laughs> they have the exact same kind well, of views. Well, you know, that's a load of monkey toast. I mean, come on. You know, my parents, our parents' point of view, that's their view. That's not necessarily our point of view, though, right? Well, actually, I, I'm beginning to feel more and more like those are my views. I mean, I mean, you value our heritage and our community, right? Those things are important to you. Yeah, I mean, and you know, I can't imagine having a family other than with a, a Korean man. You know, and quite frankly, I feel like we're very blessed. <laughs>